little kitty, do you know what kind of tunes planets like to play? What? The answer is Neptunes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Maybe I can't be a pro comedian, but I can surely be a professor and teach you and our lovely friends about the last planet in our solar system we call Neptune. Zoom in! More than 30 times as far from the Sun as Earth, which is around 2.8 billion miles in length, Neptune is the most distant planet and holds the 8th spot in our solar system. Yes, it is so far that it takes nearly 4 hours for sunlight to reach there. And that's not it. The distance gives Neptune the longest orbit in our solar system. Because of all this, it takes about a whopping 165 years to finish one revolution around our sun, with each season lasting a little more than 40 Earth years. But as far as its rotation is concerned, it only takes about 16 hours to finish one full day on this planet. Being so far away from the sun also keeps it deprived of heat and light, due to which this world appears dark and makes it the only planet not visible to the naked eye. Plus, this drives the surface temperature brutally cold, with an average temperature of negative 373 degrees Fahrenheit. Hence, like its neighbor Uranus, it is also known as an ice giant. Yes, with a diameter of around 30,599 miles, which is about four times wider than Earth, Neptune is the fourth largest planet in our solar system. In fact, even its solid core is about 1.5 times the Earth's size, which makes up around 45% of the planet's total mass. This core is made of water, ice and silicate rock, while the remaining part of the planet is assumed to consist of water, methane and ammonia ice, wrapped by a layer of cloud. This cloud is made of hydrogen and helium, with just a little bit of methane gas, giving this planet its beautiful, bright blue appearance. But don't get fooled by its calming blue shade, as Neptune is the solar system's windiest planet. Yes, these winds are three times stronger than Jupiter's and nine times stronger than what we experience here on Earth. One of the strongest storms here was in 1989, named the Great Dark Spot which was almost the size of the Earth. And since then, Neptune has faced several intense storms, which are not conducive to life as we know it. But above this stormy atmosphere lies a serene set of rings and moons. Out of this 40 known moons, Triton is the largest and the only large moon in the solar system that rotates in a direction opposite to Neptune's rotation, which suggests that it may once have been an independent object that Neptune captured. As far as its rings are concerned, it has at least five main rings and four prominent ring arcs which we know according to the data captured by NASA's Voyager 2, the first and only spacecraft to study Neptune up close. But there is so much left to discover about the last planet in our solar system, and I'm sure humanity will explore more about this dark, cold, windy planet 
we call Neptune. Trivia time! Did you know, in 2011, Neptune completed its first 165-year full orbit since its discovery in 1846? Also, like its neighbor Uranus, Neptune likely formed closer to the Sun and moved to the outer solar system about 4 billion years ago. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs>